remember it. Very good. This morning, we are in our fourth day. And tomorrow would be the last one. Oof. Are you excited to finish? Uh. <laughs> okay. So this morning, I want you to remember what is our first topic. Do you remember our first topic? God's grace, letter G, guides us. And our second topic, God's grace, letter R, redeems us. And yesterday, our topic is God's grace aligns us. Very good. So this morning, we would go now to our fourth topic. What letter does it start from? C. Okay. God's grace, what? Changes us. Very nice. Once again, God's grace changes us. You are right now in your PE uniforms, right? Later on, you will do what? You will have PE. You will have play or games, right? And when you have games, you will get dirty. What? Do you get dirty when you have games? No? <laughs> For some, you get dirty. And after getting dirty, what do you do next? You change. You change your clothes, right? So I have here a toy. It's a toy. What is this toy? Yeah, it's a pig. Although it's small, it's a pig. Yeah, it's a stuffed toy. So whenever this top stuffed toy gets dirty because it rolled on the floor, so we need to change what? The clothes, right? So we need to change the clothes. Uh, don't look. <laughs> and so after changing or removing the dirty clothes, we need to change it with a clean one. So we need to dress him. So the same as you, right? So it means that God's grace could change us and dress us into a clean one. So let me share again a story. Do you want to get a story? Okay. This time, it's my own story when I was a child. You know what? When I was a child, I used to cry. Who among you used to cry? Oh, you love crying. <laughs> How about grade six? Do you still cry? Oh, no anymore because you are big girls and boys. But this time, okay, okay. When I was a little girl, I used to cry a lot. And so one day, one day, my mom called us, okay, children, come on down. We want to eat. We're going to eat. You love eating? <laughs> so we're going to eat. Come down. And so my mom prepared the plate, prepared the table. He put the picture there. Here's the table, you know. My mom put a picture. My mom put the plate. My mom put the dishes, the viands, and the rice on the table and here we are we get down upstairs from upstairs we sit down in our table but then that morning when I was sitting down in a table I began to cry why do you think I cry I still cry and cry And you know what? My mom don't know what to do. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? Hey. Huh? Do you do like that one? Hey, come on. Speak. Speak, child. Speak. No. Do you wake up in the morning crying like that one? And so my mom really don't know what to do. And there's my father. There's just eating. What child? And my brothers and sisters, they are there. Hey, what are you doing? 
It seems like I want something, but my mom and my father and my brothers cannot understand me because I keep on crying. And so, after a little while, my mom really think a lot. What should I do with this child? Oh, do you want this one? This carrot? No, no, no. How about the rice? The rice. And so, after a moment, I stand up and begin to freeze. Why do you think so? And when I look down, the picture is on the floor. And there is ice tubes on the floor. And my knees, they are shivering. It's trembling like that one. And my body, it's doing like that. And my mother, she's there. And you know what my mother did? She poured the water on me. And so I was all wet that morning. And what I did after being wet, I run. I run upstairs. Oh, don't cry, baby. I run upstairs. And when I was upstairs, I locked the room. Don't come here, mommy. Don't come here. You poured that water, very cold water on me. Don't come here. And then what my mother did, she ran upstairs, knocked on the door. <coughs> Wait, <Lance. laughs> my mother. Sorry. <coughs> because of a lot of crying, I, I ran out of voice. Okay. So my mother comes there in the door and keeps knocking. Jason, Jason, open the door. Open the door. And I was there. I'm just sitting. Why did my mom do that to me? I'm all wet. It's very cold. Come on, Jason, come on. Open the door. Open the door. Hmm. What do you think I should do? Should I open the door? Okay. So after a little while, I opened the door. And my mom entered. She told me, okay, Jaisal, come down. I'm sorry. I didn't want to hurt you. But then, Jaisal, what do you know? What You know what? Jesus wants you to stop crying too. Jesus wants you to be a vision. Jesus wants you to be a good person. So please, Jaisal, whenever we are in the dining table, don't think of yourself all the time and you just want to cry and cry there. So this time, Jaisal, what are we going to do is kneel down and pray. So what we did, I come down, I don't cry anymore, and my mother is there, we prayed. Dear Jesus, my mom said, here is Jaisal. I love Jaisal so much. And I know you love her too. Kindly make Jaisal an vision child, a kind daughter, and a daughter who obeys her mother and do good to other people. Help her, Lord, to stop crying whenever in the table. Help her, Lord, to be in a good mood all the time. In Jesus' name, amen. So my mother prayed for me. And you know what? After that day, do you, th do you think I'm still a crybaby? No. Because I remember that by God's grace and by the love of my mom and by the love of Jesus Christ, He wanted me to change. He wanted me not to be a crybaby anymore and always pursue what I want. So this time, God wants you to be a good person too. He wants to change you to a better one with a white dress clean and pure 
and a good person. So I want you to open your Bibles in 1 Corinthians 6, 19. It says there, Do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? When is the temple of the Holy Spirit? It is clean. It is good. So what God wants you is to have a good personality. God wants you to change to a good person. No quarreling anymore, right? No angry faces anymore. No need to frown anymore. Because Jesus loves you and Jesus wants you to change. So I have a song here. Could we have it on screen, ma'am? Do you remember the song, Change My Heart, O God? Do you know that song? If you know, don't know it yet, let me sing it first and then you sing with me. This song is a prayer. This is a prayer asking for God to change us. So that we would not be a burdensome anymore to our teachers. So that our parents would not get hurt anymore. So that we could show love to them. This song is Change My Heart, O oh God. So let me sing it first. And if you know the song, come and join along with me. Change my heart, O oh God. Make it ever true. Change my heart, O oh God. May I be like you. You are the potter. I am the clay. Mold me and make me. Here is what I pray. Change my heart, O oh God. Make it. Join me in singing. Change my heart, oh God. Make it ever true. Change my heart, oh God. May I be like you. You are the potter. I am the clay. God to change you. Can I see your hand? Wow. So teachers, be reminded that these young people want to be changed by Jesus Christ. You could put down now your hand. Now I want to call on volunteers or coming from grade 5. Coming from grade 5 and grade 1 and grade 2. Once again. Uh, that one standing, come and find the guy. And from grade one, can I can I have that one, that boy, Mam Radelas? Can I have the one beside you? And from grade two, tomorrow I will call everyone. Uh, can I call a lady, the one with braided hair? Yeah, that one. Thank you so much. I have a very, okay, sorry. I have a very beautiful question. We want to listen to, this, to their answers, right? My question is, my 
question is, what is something or what character of you that you want Jesus to change from you? What bad character you have that you want Jesus to change in you? What character that you want Jesus to change in you? Pray. Pray? You want Jesus to teach you how to pray? Okay, what else? What do you think is the bad thing you're doing that you want Jesus to change? What else? Oh, what do you think is the bad thing that Jesus wants you to change? What do you think is uh, your? What is something you are doing that God wants you to change because it's bad? You know? Are you a crybaby? No. <laughs> do you are you disobedient? Sometimes. So do you want Jesus to change that one? Okay. Yes. So this time you won't be. Be. You won't be. Be. Disobedient anymore, right? So you, could you say it? Be yeah, so you will be a vision this time. So how about you? What do you want to be changed by Jesus Christ? In my you? heart. Your heart. Wow. Because my sister. Because I love you. Because what? Okay. So God, you want Jesus to change your heart because... She didn't want to be angry anymore. So you help her. What's her name? Nikki? Lady. Lady. So lady wants to be changed by Jesus Christ. How about you? What do you think is something that Jesus wants to change in you? My heart, my attitudes, and my temper. Yeah, your temper, your heart, and your attitude. Just wait for a while. Yeah. So I give you erasers because God will erase those bad characters in you. Okay? Thank you so much. I hope everyone would be, be very true in our response that we want Jesus to change us. Thank you so much for your answers. So once again, this time, let us change our answers. When I ask you, how are you? You will say, saved by grace. Once again, how are you right now? Saved by grace. Okay, again, again. How are you, children? Saved, saved by grace. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much.